Hi, I'm James from Smarter Business Processes. Today, I'm going to show you our Smarter Dashboard, which allows you to slice, dice, and edit your Smartsheet data. In this demo, we'll be viewing some timesheet data, and I'll just briefly run through it here so you know what the Smarter Dashboard will be displaying. Each line is a different timesheet entry from an employee. You can see that we have data for different employees, projects, and tasks, showing the date, duration, and description of each piece of work, along with the billable fee to the client and the employee cost. There's also a gross profit calculation for each piece of work. So that's the raw data that our Smarter Dashboard will be working from. And this is the Smarter Dashboard. This view is currently unfiltered, so you're seeing data from the entire sheet. One of the main features of the Smarter Dashboard is that you can filter this data directly from within the dashboard. For example, if we want to show the data for just this month, we can do that here and everything updates dynamically like so. Now let's see this quarter instead. There you go. We can also filter on other elements at the same time. So this is Diane Smith's numbers for this quarter. Incidentally, if you need to see a chart more clearly, you can zoom in like this and just close it when you're done. You can set up as many different views as you like. Here, I've just got two. Along with the summary view here, there's a detail view which shows you a table of the underlying data. This can be filtered in just the same way as the summary view. Here, for example, are the numbers for project 42 and now for project 42 this week. If you click on a row, you can see all the detail for it. You can also edit a row directly from the dashboard. This will update Smartsheet. You can see that only some columns are editable as the others contain formulae in the underlying sheet. If we find this row within the sheet here and then edit the number of hours from within the dashboard, you can see that it updates Smartsheet almost instantaneously. There you go. If you don't want your data to be editable from the dashboard, you can, of course, switch this feature off. As I mentioned, you can set up as many different views as you like. In this case, both views are using the same underlying Smartsheet data, but different views can display data from different sheets. Another useful feature of the Smarter Dashboard is that you can navigate to the detail in different ways. For example, if I'm looking at just the training hours, I can see that Diane Smith has done three hours. If I click on her segment, it will take me directly to the detail view with all the filters set so that I see Diane's three hours of training. If someone updates the underlying Smartsheet data, we can easily refresh to see it here. For example, let's find entry 2812 in the sheet and update the hours from 1 to 1.25. If we save the sheet and then go back to the dashboard and hit refresh, you'll see that the data has updated. Everything in the Smarter Dashboard is controlled from a single admin sheet. I won't go through all the options here, but from this sheet, you can control the views, the layout of each view, the data to be charted, the colors, the titles, the logo, the filters, and much more. As part of the setup of the Smarter Dashboard, we will assist you in setting up your admin sheet to get the dashboard just how you want it. As you can see, the Smarter Dashboard can be embedded into a Smartsheet Dashboard as we've done here. Alternatively, you can access the Smarter Dashboard as a web page. If you'd like this type of access, we would suggest password protection, of course, which we can set up for you. So that's a quick run through of the Smarter Dashboard. Please contact us here at Smarter Business Processes if you'd like to discuss this or any of our other apps. We'd be happy to provide a free initial consultation to discuss your requirements. Thanks very much for watching.